everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. If you are brand new, welcome and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video what we're going to be doing is talking about setting New Year's resolutions and I don't necessarily want to recommend you too many but what I want to do today is recommend you a host of tools that you can go away at the start of 2018, download and use for your New Year's resolutions. Now I think New Year's resolutions in general is a positive way to start the year, I think there's nothing negative about it. Obviously you can start a New Year's resolution whenever you like so if it comes to February time and you're like damn, I'm not doing well on these. You can refigure, reconfigure with these tools, go away, plan, and actually focus on another set of focuses near the end of the year. Now, just before we get started, I wanted to do promote my Skillshare class. Um, so the Skillshare class is how to find the perfect to-do list application. I think it's gonna be a great course for you as you start the new year. So feel free to go check that out on Skillshare. It's available two months for free, uh, and you obviously get Skillshare Premium, so that is gonna be available in the description below. Do let me know via email uh, if you already use your premium uh, or premium on Skillshare. Do let me know via email, which will be available in the description below. So guys, let's dive in. So as you can imagine, in the new year, I know a lot of people head towards new tools, new resources for getting organized and getting productive. Now, as you can imagine, in 2018, you have a ton of goals, and sometimes it's a little harder to define what those goals are and actually put them down on pen and paper because that's what a lot of people do. They go, I'm going to do this in 2018, but it's going to be very loose and not very defined. So using a tool can actually be a great way to define that. Now, I did a full video on this for Trello, uh, which I did long-term planning with Trello, so hopefully you'll be able to find that one. Uh, it's a very useful video when it approaches different templates and tactics that you can use Trello with. I'm going to talk about general tools that you can use today, so let's jump in. So when it comes to planning, uh, so when it comes to setting and planning goals, I tend to recommend more project management tools than I do task managers or note takers, but they can also be very useful for that. Now, the first tool I want to recommend is Notsby. Now, Notsby is a project management tool, but if you're using it in a personal context, it's a great tool for setting out goals, setting out projects, and using the application across your day. Now, I find Notsby a really uh, lovely application in terms of its feature set. It could improve its design a little more, but I'm in love with the uh, whole concept of uh, like setting up your own goals and resources there. Now, the good thing is not to be provides you with a host of beneficial blogs, uh, sort of podcasts and videos that can help you to extend your knowledge about setting goals, setting routines, setting tasks up to help you further that. So I recommend it as a really uh, a community resource as well. It's very beneficial for that. Now, the next resource I want to recommend is something I did a full video on Trello. Trello can be a great tool, especially you've got boards, you've got lists, you've got cards, all very useful tools when you're looking to lay out stuff. And it's very flexible as well. So you can design it in any fashion you like. There's no one rule fits all. Uh, there's obviously useful templates and I did a full video on this, but I think that the benefit of Trello is that you can do anything you like with it. And it becomes a haven for planning and structuring all of your tasks and activities. Another application I sort of fell in love with is Notion recently. I really love its flexibility, structure, and design. Uh, it works really well on iOS, on the Mac, and also it provides you with a, a really flexible layout to organize whatever you like. I really like how it's almost like creating your own intranet for your own tasks and goals. So it's very cool for that, and it just, it's very useful if you're a team as well for planning all of that context. Now, Mila Note is uh, my fourth application I wanna recommend uh, for creatives and those who like to plan visually. Mila Note is like a canvas for planning your different tasks and activities, and also mood boarding and inspiration. So if you're looking to set maybe a mood board up with a list of goals that you wanna set in 2018, this can be a great application for that. And Mila Note is free. You get, uh, I think it's like 200 cards or something like that for free. I'll have to check on that one, but 
Access the link in the description below and you'll get a few free ones there. The next one is Asana and the main reason I mentioned Asana as a useful goals setter is because it's got this feature called boards. Very similar to Trello, it provides you with a, a board view of all of your art tasks and activities. Whether you're working with a team or a set of people for your goals in 2018, this is a great canvas for you to organize all of those goals. And I highly recommend checking out that boards feature. I've done a full video on this if you wanna check it out. Now to extend this, obviously all of those tools are more project management based or so they're useful for goal setting and task setting around that as well. The sort of micro actions alongside that. But you can use something called a habit tracker as well. Trackers can be a very beneficial tool for organizing and setting new routines up. Now naturally you have positive habits and negative habits. Like for example, it could be stop smoking and that's, uh, or smoking is a bad habit and maybe a good habit would be meditation. So you can set up your habit trackers like that to increase the positive habits and decrease the negative habits. So there are some more advanced habit trackers out there or goal setters uh, as many people call them is goals on track is the first one I like to recommend. This is a really useful tool if you want to set out a few goals and keep on track with them as you go about your day. Another one very similar is called Life Tick. Again, a very similar one to setting out a few goals that you want to go for and having them clear and uh, dated in front of you to go out and get them done. Strides is one that I find very beneficial. You can numerically add the value of what you want to focus on and actually check in weekly, monthly, whatever you like uh, on certain days to quantify how well you're doing towards that goal. And it will give you projections on how far you need to go to achieve that. Coach.me is another one, but it adds a layer of sort of coaching and benefits like a community in helping you build habits, but also reinforcing them with people to support you. And finally, Week Done is another resource for setting out a few goals for you and your team. Maybe it's specific work goals or things that you need to get done in the week, but it's a great way for you and your team to set these clear, definable targets to reach at the end of your week. So guys, as you can imagine, all of those tools, those project management tools combined with those habit trackers can be very beneficial. And what I recommend doing is outside of this video, going out and checking out all of those resources, seeing whether you like to use them to plan your goals and routines in 2018. So guys, I really hope you're having a great new year so far. I hope this video helps to define all of that stuff. So feel free to go away and uh, use this video to uh, you know, find the tools you want um, and, and get settled down. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet checked out this YouTube channel, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So make sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification for regular videos. And uh, if you uh, manage to join the Keep Productive community, it'd be great as well. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.